Or the Whale was started in the winter of 2005 when I moved to San Francisco from Ann Arbor, Michigan and got in touch with an old high school friend of mine, Matt. It, we were very lucky to sort of find a group of people who, tend, who mesh as, as well together as, as we do. Seven people is a lot of people, <laughs> and a lot of people to be in a band with. Just in general, I think that we benefit from having that many people to sort of bounce our ideas off of and to be honest with each other. We roll pretty deep wherever we go <laughs> with seven people. At first, I was like really intimidated by the fact that there's so many people because you know you can't just play everything all the time. I think the most important thing for us is to sort of you know play within our you know our little selves and make sure that. That what we're doing is all, you know, all going towards one common thing. Living in a dream. When we first started playing, everybody just brought the material that they, basically, that they had already written. So as long as it fits with the aesthetic and everyone can kind of like it and write their own part, then, you know, it's welcome. And we started out doing everything ourselves, and we put the first record out ourselves, and that we all wanted to make sure that, that you know, we we had enough work ethic on our own that when we did take that next step that we had a lot of foundation already already built. Putting the new record out on Shawnee Records and everything sort of hereafter is, is kind of just kind of a step in the next direction. You know, we've been put in a situation where we, we were given the resources to make the record that, that we wanted to make. Spent my money on the Jimson when, when we went to the studio and we saw where, where we recorded and we saw that they had a tape machine and they recorded the tape, I think we really wanted to, to um, use that to our advantage. The tape has more of a finality or more of this you know, sort, of, sort of organic sense to it and I think that, that a little of that rubbed off on the album. I think this time around it was, it was much more comfortable in a way. Um, we had the luxury of time. Living in a dream Our favorite records have plenty of, of you know, messed up parts and, and wrong notes and uh, you know you end up loving those things and there were some times where you know if you have four vocals that are all mixing together you know you try to get it as good as you can but if the if the flavor if the feeling is there uh, you don't want to get rid of that. My dog died and it broke my heart. nail all the different you know, the dynamics that we have sort of all of that and then the song we have songs that are like super super loud super I think the eagle definitely soars on this album yeah, you see yeah. you can just see it floating There's a lot of moments and, yeah, like that yeah. having a good time and enjoying it and trying to be conscious of what we're making play a really quiet folk song with with like four or five part harmony and we can play a big a big you know kind of dirty rock song with a lot of organ and guitar and and I think that that ultimately that is that is sort of what defines us is is sort of the variety of songwriting and, and the, our ability to change it up a little bit and uh, we all have found our niche within every song um, as musicians and singers and being able to, to go out and play the music to people is pretty special, and uh, not a lot of people get that opportunity. So I think we're just trying to make the most of it and hopefully succeed in the process.
Sunday, yeah.